Bob Hall, editor of Quick Printing Magazine, and we are here at the On Demand show in Philadelphia talking to some printers about their business and about the industry in general. What do you consider to be some of the key factors in building a relationship with uh, your vendors and suppliers? Uh, key factors in building a relationship with vendors and suppliers, you, you know, I know it probably sounds trite to say service, but it, it truly is the biggest issue. Uh, for instance, I've had paper vendors where one guy, all he wants to do is come in and take your order every week, and if there's a problem, oh gee, I can't really help you out with that. Mm -hmm. I've had other vendors that, you know, the, the salesman, I mean, he'll throw it in his trunk if he has to and bring me something or pay for a messenger if they've screwed up on something. So service really is key. What do you consider to be some of the key factors in the relationship between uh, between printer and, and vendors and suppliers? I think one of the one of the biggest uh, factors uh, in the relationship uh, with customers and vendors and, and suppliers is really trying to understand and get to know their business. Uh, the biggest step in the marketing approach has to be that you need to learn something about the customer's business before you try to sell them anything. And that has not been a normal way of thinking by, by most printers. Uh, particularly, take the 80-20 rule, you know, the 20% of your customers count for 80% of your business. You need to get to know integrally about their business and the things that they're changing because some print goes away, but other opportunities open themselves up in areas like wide format, uh, some marketing services type things, mailing, direct mail, those sort of things. And if you don't, if you're not close enough to understanding what's going on in the customer's business, you become reactionary to that rather than growing. You know, I, I think the relationship between the uh, supplier and us is, is a very simple one. Um, tell us what you want to sell us and what the benefit is to us. Uh, return our phone call every single time and uh, build trust and, and respect between each other so that there is ever a problem and occasionally there is that we can resolve those together rather than uh, having conflict. The uh, key factors for a uh, vendor supplier relationship I feel is that uh, for them to get to know us as a, a, a company uh, to be able to invite them into our shop and fully understand our customer base and what we're doing uh, to provide service to our customers. We're looking for a a vendor to be a partner in our business, uh, understand our how we make our money and how they can uh, support uh, us in that effort. Uh, be honest. Honesty and communication are key. Um, I have to be able to get in touch with the vendor. Okay, so if they so never answer their phone. <laughs> responsiveness. Yeah. Uh, responsiveness. Um, do what you say you're going to do. Uh, make sure that uh, you have online ordering that's really uh, been very helpful for us to have the capabilities for our staff to place the orders. Um, and, uh, you know, a web presence with that. Um, it'd be nice, you know, like uh, sometimes uh, you know, the, the vendors that are in the background that nobody ever sees and talks to, sometimes they're not all that pleasant. <laughs> I, I think uh, the fact that we, we do not turn a vendor away. Uh, we're never too busy to talk to a vendor and share information with them and be responsive to what information they bring forth to us. And what, what, uh, what do you uh, like to see with them? Uh, responsiveness, uh, uh, capabilities? Capabilities, responsiveness, and response to what our individual needs are. Um, I think what it works out for everybody. I mean, I think that um, you really... Uh, I'm a very loyal shopper. I mean, as long as somebody's doing what they're supposed to be doing and doing good for me, I don't, I don't shop, I don't move. But when I'm having a problem, I want to know that they're going to be there to help me solve that problem. And I think that's probably the key, key to it right there. Is that being available and, and, and accessible and, and proactive and, and helping you? Right, like being a partner. I mean, if I have an issue with something that I know I can count on them, I can call them at any time and say, look, you know, we're having an issue with this. Can you help me solve it? And knowing that they're going to come and help me solve it. Um. Developing a good relationship with your um, clients is very similar to de developing a good relationship with your vendor, and it has to be a two-way street. There has to be um, trust and respect on both sides that both parties are going to live up to what's expected of them. As a printer, uh, when I deal with my customers, I do what I say I'm going to do and I expect them to do what they say they're going to do. Um, pay me on time, 
provide me files as specified. If not, understand that there's additional charges, that type of thing. But there has to be trust and respect. The same thing goes with, with vendors as well. I expect my vendors to be more of a partner with me, um, and I expect them to provide me information just like I provide information to my clients. Um, and in turn, I pay them promptly, and I order as I say I'm going to order. So it's just, it's a matter of trust and respect.